Hi there, I'm Beth Stefaniak from MessyMarriage.com with another edition of Sloppy Joe Time. Today I am talking about wounds, continuing that conversation. You know, sometimes we have a spouse that has a lot of wounds. Well, in life, most of the time, couples are drawn together because they are both wounded. And sometimes a spouse resists dealing with their wounds. And I could sense that with my husband. I felt like, though, this is the sloppy expectation part where he is the husband and the man, he should lead out and deal with unpacking those wounds. And after a while I realized he was not getting with the program. <laughs> of course he probably had a program that he wanted me to get with. And God showed me that I really needed to take charge of my own wounds in my own life. If I wanted to see uh, my marriage heal and bring change to that, I needed to look at myself and, and deal with my own hurts and wounds. So I began to pray and I asked God to reveal the brokenness in my life, in my heart, the areas where I was wounded. And he was very clear about showing that to me in scripture and through prayer, through through the help of my my friends, <clears throat> sometimes even through the help of a counselor because I would seek the help of a counselor at different points. And all of those revealed to me different areas. So whenever I had sort of an over, over the top kind of response to something or I felt really strong fear or anger, I knew that probably a wound was triggered. And I would deal with that praying, asking God to give me insight, and often doing sort of an autopsy later, looking back and seeing what did I want, what was I uh, responding to that, that was part of that wound that I'm bringing into my marriage. And two things that God really brought to my attention as I was looking at myself for the what wounds do I have, one of them is an unforgiving spirit. I was such a ruminator and would let uh, resentments just run through my mind and at some point I learned to change the way I think and re renew my mind with God's Word and prayer certainly a big part of letting go of the hurts and grieving them and releasing them to the Lord another area was pride I felt like um, I was doing things right and that my husband was doing things wrong and so I began to learn to confess and apologize and bring truth and honesty and vulnerability into my relationship with my husband. I swallowed my pride an awful lot more than I ever did before and I stretched those humility muscles. So uh, those were two main areas that God really dealt with me and I hope that that's something that's helpful to you as well. Thanks so much for joining me for another Sloppy Joe time. I hope you'll come around next time.